Hi, Trayan from Rock Garak. So you want to get giant dog breed, but you can decide which one is right for you. Irish Wolfhound and Great Dane are largest dogs in the world, but they are different in every aspect, including their origin, appearance, and temperament. In this video, I will show you these differences closely. Let's start with origin of those two breeds. The first difference is that the Irish Wolfhound is Sidehound and Great Dane is Mastiff type of dog. They were both used for hunting, especially wild boars and other game as well. And sometimes they were also used as war dogs. As you can probably guess from his name, Irish Wolfhound originated in Ireland, but Great Dane is not Danish, but German dog breed. There is obvious difference in their appearance. Irish Wolfhounds have shaggy rough coat, bearded face and their ears are carried back. They can be in red, white, black, grey or even brindle color. On the other hand, Great Dane can also be blue, harlequin or mantle and their coat is very short. You will oftentimes see Great Dane with cropped ears but naturally they fall forward. I was talking about their appearance, but I didn't mention the most important part, their size. So which one is actually bigger? It might seem like easy question, but it's not that easy to answer it, because bigger might mean taller, but also heavier. On average, Irish Wolfhound is slightly taller than Great Dane. Irish Wolfhound average height is 85 cm and Great Dane's is 80 cm. But Guinness World Record belongs to Great Dane named Zeus, who was 111 centimeters tall. But Great Danes are heavier on average, and it's not a small difference. Healthy Great Dane overweighs his opponent by about 15 kilograms, so it's hard to say which breed is bigger, because Irish Wolfhounds tend to be taller than Great Danes, who are on average heavier. Both breeds are oftentimes called as gentle giants and it's 100% true. They might have history of hunters and war dogs, but they are extraordinarily gentle and friendly. They are very affectionate towards their family and they are good with strangers and other pets and animals as well. And on top of that, they are actually one of the best dogs to have when you have small kids in your family. Affectionate, loving, eager to please and cuddly. These words are perfect for description of both breeds personalities. It's kind of funny to me because it looks like I was describing some toy dog breed, right? But Great Dane can be a little bit stubborn sometimes, which is not the case of Irish Wolfhound. But also Great Danes are more playful and have more energy, so they need more exercising. I should say they need tons of exercises. But although Irish Wolfhound are not that energetic, you will still need to exercise him very often. You should definitely not get these dogs into small apartment. They need their space, so at least medium yard, medium sized yard is recommended. Both breeds can tolerate being left alone for some time, but they will not be happy about it. And of course, if you look at their coat, you can tell that Irish Wolfhound is better for colder climates and Great Dane is more suitable for living in warm weather areas. I should not forget about their grooming needs and health issues. Both breeds sheds and they are not good for people with allergies. Great Danes, thanks to their short coat, don't need brushing very often and you should buff them only when it's necessary. On the other hand, Irish Wolfhounds with their shaggy coat should be brushed weekly to keep their hair under control. But they are also very clean dogs that don't need buffing very often. The sad thing about both breeds is that they don't live very long. Irish Wolfhound lifespan is only between 6 to 8 years and Great Dane is between 7 to 10 years. Both breeds are also prone to some diseases or health problems when they are older. Very common for both breeds are is hip dysplasia, dilated cardiomyopathy or bloating. Did you know that there is a crossbreed between the Great Dane and Irish Wolfhound? It's called Irish Dane and just like his ancestors, this is a affectionate gentle giant with similar temperament. He can have any color I mentioned earlier in both Great Danes and Irish Wolfhounds and Irish Dane's coat can be both short and straight or medium and harsh.
Tell me in comments, what do you think about having giant dog breeds? Would you like to own one of these dogs? Thank you for watching this comparison. If you liked it, consider subscribing to this channel and check our social media links down in description. See you in the next video.